You're ready, are you? Okay. Oh. Hi. Hi. I'm going to explain what's been going on with Keysport because I haven't actually explained it yet. And uh, I thought... Oh, oh, yeah. You're poor. <laughs> so he's had a, a poor infection in his left front paw and he's on antibiotics and Apoquil which is for itching and rashes and uh, it reduces inflammation and also pain relief but he doesn't need the pain relief anymore. It's, uh, he's had the infection for about two weeks and he's been on the antibiotics and everything for uh, just under two weeks. I got him to the vets Monday, <laughs> two weeks ago. And what I've been having to do is give him an antibiotic and an Apoquil in the morning inside a pill pocket because you won't eat them on their own and if he so much as sniffs that the pills inside there he will spit it out. Then I've, I've had to wash his foot every time he goes outside and if he licks his foot as well because there's a lot of bacteria in dog saliva which is not good for infections and wounds. So what I've been doing is, <coughs> is washing his foot and then protecting it with a boot which I made out of some cotton fabric. <coughs> I know you don't like it. <laughs> so he has a little cotton sock on when his foot's nice and dry, but in the meantime, while his foot was wet after washing it, he had to wear a cone, which you might have seen in one of um, two videos. And he doesn't like the cone, but he's very good about it. But yeah, it only stays on for a few minutes, and then it's off again. So he's he's really not in it for very long, and it has to be that size because he has a very long neck, like a giraffe. And it's his front paw, so if it was if the cone was any shorter, he'd be able to lick his paw and render the cone useless. <laughs> That's been our regime, and then in, in the evening, <laughs> in the evening, he's had to have his second apical because there's a loading period for this um, uh, itchiness pill. I don't know what this technical term would be, but you have to have two. Um, for two weeks, I think it is. <laughs> and that's the loading period, and then it goes down to one pill. And I'm thinking of keeping him on this um, Apical pill long term because it doesn't actually cause them any problems. There's no side effects or anything. It's perfectly safe for them to be on long term. And every time he's had a poor infection, he's also come up with these little rashes on his lip and his nose and chin. And uh, the Apical has made it go away. So the vet thinks that he might be getting these infections from irritated skin because it's always around the edges of the pad, so like where the skin meets the pad and that's why he's licking a lot so he could be licking the skin raw and creating the infections himself from an itch so if he stays on the Epiquil theoretically he won't get the itch anymore so he won't get the infections hopefully. <laughs> so backtracking to August uh, Key had his first poor infection. Key, are you see it? Okay, fine. He had his first poor infection. Now this. Oh, okay. well, careful about those fingers. Mm, still fingers. So back in August, Key had his first poor infection, and it was a different pad to the infection he's got at the moment, <laughs> and it was quite bad. It swelled up two pads on the same paw. Ah, the different pad. And then the second infection he had, um, so the first one was in August, and then in September I had two ear infections. <laughs> and then in um, October, he had his second pore infection. Same pore, but different pad. And this time it was in the nail bed, and we think he jarred his nail, and the, uh, the skin sort of separated from the edge of the, the nail. And the um, infection got in there, and he was obviously licking it again, so he had to go back on all of them the uh, medications again. So then come January when this infection started. It's the same paw each time and he also has a creaky wrist in the same left paw which the vet thinks could be um, him licking to self-soothe the, the ache in there and the Everquil reduces inflammation which would also help the joint. So where we are now is the infection is, I think the infection is gone the, um, the, at least the smell of it's gone because he's no longer interested in licking his paw because when he can smell infection there he licks the foot a lot. And also there's no itchiness from um, whatever was irritating him to start with so he's 
he's got no reason to lick his paws. So he doesn't need to wear the cone, he doesn't need to wear a sock, and he also doesn't need to sleep in my room anymore because I had to keep an eye on him at night to make sure he didn't lick his foot. Um, but he's he's coming up in the night anyway, <laughs> usually after at least uh, three quarters of an hour to an hour after I've turned my light off to go to sleep, he comes and knocks on my door because he wants to come and sleep in my room. You are sweet, aren't you? <laughs> so, no need to worry. He's, uh, he's doing really well. His, his paw is fine, I think. He's still got a little bit of a bump and uh, last Monday... But your whiskey's in my mouth. Last Monday, we had some cell te cells taken from inside the little bump on the back of his pad where the infection is. Um, we should hopefully hear back about that tomorrow, because that will be a week. Um, and hopefully there's nothing to report there, and that it's just the infection that's caused the bump. It, I think it's going down, but um, it's really hard to tell. But he's walking on his foot fine now, he's uh, not limping. Oh, spit. Good boy! There we go. Good, thank you. So thanks for watching. Um, like the video if you did, that would be great. He isn't very happy because I've got my hippie scrub out to give his paw a wash because we've just been for a walk and it's dirty so I need to wash his foot because he has a paw infection. So I've got a little sock to go on afterwards that I made for him. So I need to bathe his paw in this, then rinse it off. <laughs> I can still see you. Um, and then dry it off and then put this over the top so that he can't lick his foot. So I'll have this much of the scrub in a pot and I'll top it up with some warm water and then in a separate pot I will put some fresh clean water. Key isn't really a fan of this, so I'm gonna have to get some biscuits. Come on then, come eat biscuit. Come on, closer. Move that one out of the way. Key, <laughs> come on. I need to wash your paw. Come on, come eat biscuit. About a better biscuit. This one. I'll buy this one. It smells fishy. Come on, come and have a lick. Sniff it. Come on. Can you come and sniff it at least, please? Come and sniff it. No, I'll hide that. Come on in. You can get it. What's this? <laughs> I'm trying to tempt a wild animal. Boy, can we wash your paw now? Can I wash your paw now? That's a good boy. I'll give you sausage afterwards. Good boy. That's it. Uh -huh. yeah. Gotta rinse off the soap. <laughs> Lift up your paw, please. Lift. Lift. Lift it. Key, come on. Lift it. <laughs> no. I'm <laughs> licking. Yeah, all done. All right. It wasn't so bad, was it? Hmm? It wasn't so bad. Windy boy. That's a good boy. Go there in the end. Oh, being a good boy. 
Oh god. Let me go for it. <laughs> the next phase of Key's poor infection healing is to give him his pill. So he has to have one of these a day, which is antibiotic to cure an infection. And I have these pill pockets. Right, hang on, I have to put the pill inside first. I'm going to pop those inside. If he's really hungry, he'll eat them without chewing. If he's not, he will nibble it back up a little bit. So if he's not very hungry, he'll nibble a bit off and he'll find the pill inside. So let's see what he does. Ow, uh oh. He found it. No, he didn't find it. That's a minor miracle. Right, number two. I didn't find that one either. Maybe I need to film him every morning when I do this. Make it seem like we're doing tricks. <laughs> because normally he will find the treat inside and it's a real effort to get it in him and I need to um, I need to bribe him with another better treat afterwards. Which is what this sausage was for. I'm gonna offer you some sausage or try and push the pill inside that but it's quite hard inside so it's not very easy to stick anything in there. <laughs> Hey, was that good? No, you're not having all of it. Right. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. That was very good.